so hello guys today we will see the most needed technique for a paint prep artist let's see so here we we have an input here i'm just going to take a roto node so here is a roto node i'm just going to put a roto shape to the shoes over here so just drawing the shape according to the uh, position that the motion blur uh, also can be matched so i just drawn a shape here so the next thing i am just going to do is animating the shape uh, by the tog by toggling the motion blur option so i am just matching the shape according to the original movement of the leg so that the motion blur must can be accurate yep so i now i'm just going to on the uh, motion blur by matt overlay yeah here we can see the motion blur is on but it is going way beyond so i'm just going into the settings motion blur settings and uh, reducing the shutter option so just reduced it to match the input now we can see the motion blur is matched so what the next thing i'm just going to do is i'm just connecting uh, a copy pre melt node so that i can pre multiply my input using this roto so here is a setup and after that what i'm just going to do is i'm merging uh, this pre multiplied result over a gray constant that i can review the a or b between the input and the pre multiplied result so this is a copy node and i just pre multiplied it and just merged over a constant oops so it should be like the b part should be into the constant and reverse so here i'm just checking the ab because now we can see some loss of details in the shoes so for that what i'm just going to do is i am just drawing a shape in the core of this area core means the uh, pixel which is opaque the last pixel uh, last pixel which is opaque so i just drawn a core shape now and now we can see the missing data is revealed i can blur it to match the original input now it is so accurate that we pre multiplied the result accurately so what the thing is that we can see the bg over the pre multiplied result it might cause problems when we do a removal task and all for this so what the next step is that i'm just going to do a paint operation or a paint out here Uh, like i'm just going to remove these green grasses and just extending this wall downside so i'm just taking the clone brush and uh, extending the wall downside uh, so here i'm just removing the shoes and all so that we can uh, track and we can use this as a plate so after that we can connect the shoes back so it is done the paint operation is done but we can see the input is revealed over here in the motion blur area so we will see another method of fixing these issues that is edge fix method so i'm just copying the roto shape again into this section and just naming this one as core and deleting the uh, motion blur shape and this is motion blur shape and i'm just going to delete the core here so yes i'm just going to delete it So this is a push and just uh, taking a copy pre melt node to pre multiply it using the core shape I'm just pre multiplying it before I use the motion blur now I'm using the core shape so I just blurred this area this pre multiplied result so that it extends a little bit and also eroded a little bit so that more extension is there now I'm just going to use the opposite of un pre multiply I mean pre melt that is un pre melt so here i just unpre multiplied it so the values between 0 and 1 is now 0 or 1 so yes here i have to give the rgb a so i i have just unpre multiplied the result now the motion blur spline which we have i'm just going to pre multiply uh, this unpre multiplied result with the motion blur spline so i'm just cutting here i mean the pre multiplication is here so the adjust the motion blur is done motion blur part is done now the next thing which i am going to do is i'm just uh, doing a pre multiplication 
with input and the core shape so here is a core shape i'm just pre multiplying it here and just merging over the unpre multiplied result so that the motion blur area will be controlled using the unpre multiplication method here we can see the difference i'm just uh, connecting here yep yeah. see we can see a huge difference the bg revealed over the motion blur area is completely gone now we can even uh, uh, adjust the feather of the core spline to match according to the input even we can reveal back the unwanted areas uh, so that uh, the un uh, untouched areas uh, have no changes so all these settings can be matched uh, for proper uh, ab or a or b chip the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm just connecting uh, just these pre multiplied results uh, above the paint out so that uh, you people can easily understand the uses of this method while you are doing a paint prep task so here i have the paint result i'm just connecting it now we can see here the bg is completely getting into the uh, motion blur area but when we use the edge fix method we can see a lot of difference in the motion blur area so this can be very handy for the paint prep artist so yep if you find this tutorial useful share with share it with other friends now we will see one more time the proper method of doing this we have a pre multiplied result here using a core shape and we just blurred it and just eroded it for extending it little bit and we unpre multiplied it and pre multiplied using a motion blur shape also added the core shape above that that's it uh, no need of edge paint anymore so people in india especially don't want to learn anything related to their work that can make them best in your respective career about 86% of viewers haven't subscribed my channel till yet it doesn't cost you anything my intention is to prove yourself information and make you strong follow madlux vfx facebook page for more vfx updates and informations always like comment subscribe madlux vfx share with your friends thank you